Dear organizing committee, dear participant of our conference, thank you for your attention to my presentation. My name is Diana Malceva. I work at HSE University in Moscow, Russia. Let me introduce our work about interrelation between mRNA and mRNA expression in HT29 cells under hypoxia conditions. Why hypoxia? Hypoxia contributes to various uh, important processes in living cells uh, during embryogenesis and, of course, uh, in uh, pathophysiological processes including cancer progression and metastasis development. A more of different mechanism regulation or the response of cells under hypoxia conditions, one of a more of different mechanism, one of is recruiting specific mRNAs in order to regulate expressions of the other genes. In our work, we studied hypoxia-induced expression alteration of mRNAs and their target genes in human colorectal adenocarcinoma cell line HT29. Why it is actual? Actually, some mRNAs like MIR210 or MIR27 were found to be altered by hypoxia in many cells by several research groups. But differential expression of mRNAs and their target home generally depends on hypoxia induction mechanism and, uh, of course, uh, cell type. The established link uh, exists between uh, hypoxia and cancer-induced mRNA expression pattern changes uh, in particular, a large fraction of uh, cancer-associated mRNAs can also be affected by hypoxia. Uh, on this slide you can see uh, a brief description uh, of what we uh, done, what we, what we did. Uh, in, in particular, the treatment of HD29 cells uh, performed uh, using uh, cobalt 2 chloride for 24 hours and th this was our model of hypoxic environment. Th this is how we model the hypoxic environment. Uh, then we performed integrative mRNA and uh, mRNA sequencing of treated uh, HT29 cells and uh, in comparison with uh, control HT29 cells without treatment. Libraries of uh, mRNA sequences were prepared from uh, total RNA samples using the Lumina standards kit. Uh, in the same procedure uh, for preparation libraries for mRNA sequences of, uh, also were prepared from uh, using uh, <coughs> special kits for preparation libraries uh, for Illumina. There is uh, some tech information about I will not uh, discuss I will not uh, describe it uh, because this is just a technical information. Uh, and I, uh, I will just go through all of that. And uh, here is the, the results. With, At first, uh, about, uh, a little bit about general impact of cobalt chloride uh, treatment on gene expression in HT29 cells. 
Expression level of uh, more than 2,000 genes, uh, protein coding genes, were altered significantly, statistically significantly, uh, more than uh, two times in uh, HT29 cells. Uh, and gene enrichment analysis revealed uh, 25 genes related uh, to switch from aerobic me metaboli metabolism to anaerobic glycolysis. Uh, please uh, see uh, the heat map uh, on the top uh, of the slide. Oh, and uh, an activation of uh, HIF-1 signaling pathway were also detected uh, Uh, it is important because uh, HIF-1 signaling pathway is a mechanism how the cobalt chloride uh, activates the hypoxia. Uh, also, several other signaling cascades involved in hypoxia response were activated, including NF-kappa-B, uh, TNF, uh, and uh, VNT pathways. It, is, it was also interesting that uh, the most enriched ca ca category corresponded to gene encoding proteins forming proteasome complexes. Especially 33 genes were significantly upregulated in response to treatment uh, of cells by cobalt chloride. Uh, and um, this group of genes include, include 6 out of 6 at a phase of Protasome, 11 out of 12 non adhesive unit of protasome, uh, 26S protasome, uh, 7 out of uh, 8 uh, alpha, and 7 out of uh, 11 beta subunit of protasome 20S, as well as protasome maturation proteins, POMP, and protasome activator subunit PCME. What is also interesting uh, about the general impact of cobalt chloride treatment on HT29 cells? We also observed a pregulated of genes encoding ubiquitin, which actively um, is necessary for protasome mediated protein degradation. Uh, we also noted differential expression of genes encoding proteins involved in focal adhesion, uh, su uh, such as antigreens and laminines. Expression level of laminin subunits uh, alpha 3, beta 3, uh, gamma 1, and gamma 2 uh, in particular. Uh, it is uh, worth to know that three of these, um, three of these uh, subunits like uh, alpha 3, beta 3, gamma 2 can form laminin heterotrimer. Uh, 332, also known as laminin 5. Uh, it is important uh, because uh, laminin 332 uh, drives tumor genesis, promoting uh, tumor invasion and cell survival through uh, its interactions with uh, several uh, cell surface recept re receptors. Also, regulation. Uh, um, uh, 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 gene expression changes were detected for integrins, uh, namely integrin subunit alpha E, alpha V, and beta 1 were upregulated. Uh, however, expression of uh, alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, and uh, beta 8 subunits were decreased. Uh, next slide about hypoxic alteration in expression level of uh, mRNAs and their target genes. In total, 16 mRNAs demonstrated statistically significant expression alteration in response to cobalt fluoride treatment. Uh, it is important that uh, in one of them, uh, MIR210, uh, is the only mRNA upregulated under hypoxic environment in 
almost all existing studies. Several validated uh, targeted genes uh, of these mRNAs of this mRNA were contributing to mitochondrial metabolism and apoptosis induction. And uh, these study genes were down-regulated upon uh, hypoxia, uh, under hypoxia. Then we performed the following analysis. In the beginning, mRNA target, uh, mRNA pairs uh, demonstrating significant significant negative correlation were searched in the set of uh, colon adenocarcinoma patient uh, derived samples from the database, for, and obtained lists were intersect with the list of genes significantly up or down-regulated by the factor not less than 2 in the opposite direction to the respective mRNA fold change uh, in our experiment. The procedure returned 6 mRNAs with a statistically significant number of deregulated target genes. Uh, they are, are all of them presented uh, on the slide. You can see it. Next, next, then we analyze the possible regulation of uh, mRNAs by transcription factors. Specifically, we consider uh, transcription factors which uh, mRNA level significantly change by two or more folds during uh, cobalt fluoride treatment and uh, search for their target mRNAs in the literature curated database of uh, transcription factor, mRNA regulation or uh, trans, uh, transmure. We also consider uh, reciprocal mRNA induced uh, transcription factor silencing to construct a complete regulatory network of these nodes. Uh, as you can see on the picture, for a transcription factor, simultaneously regulate multiple mRNAs while uh, in particular this is uh, EGF1, uh, HIF1A, MYC and uh, RELA. Oh, it is also worth to note that uh, the majority of mRNAs are regulated by ensembles of uh, transcription factors. And uh, in the conclusion, uh, what, are the, uh, what is our conclusion? We performed integrative uh, mRNA and mRNA sequencing of uh, HT29 cells line under uh, cobalt fluoride induced hypoxia. Differential expression analysis revealed the widespread changes in transcriptome and uh, mRNA profiles in the cells. Apparent expression of several mRNAs caused significant alteration of their targetomes. Analysis of transcription factor and mRNA interaction network highlighted possible mechanism and line absorbed hypoxia response. Thank you for your attention. Have a nice day and goodbye.